Hello and thank you for joining me today. I am Sally Glenn of Saved by Grace Ministries. I teach people how to live victoriously and how to have the power of God in their lives. Today we're going to talk about spirit power. The title of my message is how to be 100% right all the time. I have made way too many mistakes in my life and I don't want to be making any more. I very much need to make correct decisions and I know that you would like to do that too. So today I'm going to tell you in one short video how to be right 100% all of the time. First of all, think what would Jesus do? Let's take a look at the scriptures now. Colossians 3 and verse 17. Whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Think, what would Jesus do? He will help you make the right decision. A second thing to think about, what does the Holy Spirit have to say? What does he have to say about this decision? Let's go to John chapter 14 and verse 17. He, the Holy Spirit, lives with you and he will be in you. Yes, the Holy Spirit, if you have trusted Jesus as Lord and Savior, then the Holy Spirit lives in in you. Verse 26, he, the Holy Spirit, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything that I have said to you. Yes, the Holy Spirit, who is the Spirit of Truth, will teach you all things and he will remind you of those things. John chapter 16 and verse 13, when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears. He will tell you what is yet to come. And thirdly, what does the word of God have to say about the subject? What does the Bible have to say? John chapter 17 and verse 17 says, Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. So think of these three things. I'm summarizing them as I close this uh, message. Number one, what would Jesus do? Number two, what does the Holy Spirit have to say? And thirdly, what does the Word have to say? Now, let's pray. Father God, I thank you for sending Jesus. Lord Jesus, I thank you for coming, for taking on my sin, and for dying in my place. Lord, I trust you now as Savior and Lord of my life. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I would ask that you would help me in my decision making. Help me to think what Jesus would do, what you have to say, and what the Word has to say. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Use me, lead me, and guide me. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, please like us on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube channel.